So melee hatchets are the fastest way to actually down survivors. What usually a melee hatchet is, is that you throw a hatchet and you follow it up with an M1. It's a very quick and effective way of downing survivors really easy and effectively. So the method of throwing a hatchet and throwing another hatchet to down a survivor and meleeing a survivor and meleeing a survivor again is actually slower than throwing a hatchet and M1ing. So the strengths and weaknesses between meleeing and using a hatchet. A hatchet has a really fast cooldown between each throw and an, a melee M1 could be used to down a survivor immediately with a click of a button. In combination of the two, you down a survivor the fastest way that you can. It's like... <laughs> That's a way to clear the house. The area where melee had to shine the most is in the basement. Although you're not going to be M1ing as much in the basement, using melee hatchets to down survivors over and over and over again makes the basement lethal. Because you're downing at such a fast succession, taking advantage of your hatchet cooldown, it doesn't even matter. And then you can just M1 on your last down, it's easy peasy. Whenever you play Huntress, your melee hatchets will literally win you games when you go down to the basement. Many survivors know that melee hatcheting is a really, really effective method of downing survivors. So what they like to do is they like to hug killers close up so it's harder to hit them, especially with hatchets. So one way to counteract this is to actually walk backwards so you have a bigger field of view and see a bigger field of view where the survivor is. When they're hugging you, you can barely even see where the survivor is around you. By backing up, it allows you to see where the survivor is and where you need to hit them. What's important to realize is that when people try to avoid melee hatchets, they have to move, be constantly moving. By constantly moving, they're making sure that you're, it's hard for you to actually hit the shot. Usually they'll go around in a circle, they'll try to hug you really close. They're basically trying to use their movement against yours to try to outplay you. And what you can do is use their movement against them. There are some times where they try to avoid getting hit by a melee hatchet by hugging really close to you. So that's what we just saw in the previous clip. But sometimes they get stuck on you, and what's good is if you move the same direction that they're moving, they basically won't move. Because they're always trying to stay in constant motion, they're going to be stuck on you. So by making sure that their movement is in sync with yours, you can just aim straight forward, and you'll literally hit them as if they haven't even moved at all. So everyone knows how to play the Huntress visually. You see a survivor, you throw a hatchet at them. You see, you see a survivor, you back up so you can see them better, you throw a hatchet at them, easy melee hatchet down. But the most important thing when it comes to melee hatchets, in my opinion, is sound. The way I like to play is I use my headphones. Make sure that you have surround sound. And as the survivor's running, you'll hear them breathing or panting next to your ear. I need to work on my flicks. It's a little rusty today. That way, you can flick to the survivor. By adding this extra flick or this extra step into the melee hatchet, you're unpredictable. They don't know, okay, is he going to throw now? Is he going to throw now? Is he going to throw now? What is he actually going to throw? Oh, is he, he's not aiming at me. He's not going to release the hatchet. They have all this information that's going through their mind. Like, why isn't he staring at me when I'm, like, humping him? He's not staring at me. He can't hit me, basically. And when you release a flick by hitting them based on where you hear where they are, you'll surprise them. And it's actually a very effective way of hitting your melee hatchets. This is the way that I hit my melee hatchets. So out of all these methods that we've covered on how to do melee hatchets, which one's the best for console players when they're playing on controller? The best method is to just move backwards. By moving backwards, you can see the survivor a little bit more easily. It allows you to use your sticks a little bit more effectively. By moving backwards, melee hatchets are actually very easy to hit, as long as you can kind of somewhat get the survivor within your FOV. Because flicking is a little bit too risky with a controller, but being able to see them and moving backwards, that's a solid 10 out of 10 when it comes to hitting survivors. Not only are melee hatchets the fastest way to down survivors, they're the best way to preserve the hatchets that you have at your disposal. By adding a melee in, you not only down them fast, you preserve one of the hatchets that you can throw. This allows you to snowball stronger and harder. Melee hatchets can be a key aspect to preserving your hatchets and making it so you don't have to drop chases to do a reload, because we know reloading takes a lot of time. By having a melee hatchet, preserve one hatchet, that could be the difference between hitting a cross map and having to reload and just drop a chase. Overall, it'll help you win the games way more.
hope you guys enjoyed this huntress type of guide if you guys have any other guides that you guys would like me to do related to huntress or anything related to huntress hatchets feel free to leave a comment down below and yo hope you guys enjoyed the video peace guys thanks for watching